Hi guys, in today's video we are going to see how you can add custom remotes to your Smart Life app. So I have a universal remote which is uh, connected with the Smart Life app and uh, that's how it looks like. So it's uh, I think called Tews. Tews. You will find many other providers with different companies which are offering the same functionality so I think uh, for all those providers which are supported by Smart Life uh, will have the same process of adding it so let's just go so I have added this uh, Smart IR and uh, that's his name Smart IR and when you click on it it will take some time So now you can see uh, these are all the devices which I have connected with and all those remotes are actually do-it-yourself remotes which is custom remote which is not available in the database of this smart IR. So let's just try to create a new one. So in order to create a new one you need to click on the add sign. So this one. Let's just click on it. And here you will uh, see lots of things. So the key uh, key thing which you need to like always remember if you are adding a do-it-yourself remote, the remote which doesn't have like they are not that popular. Uh, I'm talking about non-Sony phones or Samsung Samsung TV. So for all those remotes, you need to go to this uh, particular uh, option, do-it-yourself, because if you go with this route. So it will not going to allow you to create a custom IR. It will just try to uh, add the like what it will do is it will going to show a mechanism where it will try to match the frequency of your remote with the company's provided remote. So it doesn't offer any uh, custom based IR learning. So for uh, for those uh, custom based IR learning, you need to go to the do it yourself option. So when you click on it. Now it will again show uh, the type you wants to add. So I have a remote uh, which is from soundbar. So I will just show you. So this is the remote. I will try to add it. So it's a, a basic IR remote. So for that uh, I, I will use audio because it's a speaker remote. And now uh, the important thing is uh, if you have used a Broadlink app, it actually allows you to add a custom brand name. But with this you don't get any option. So uh, what I what I do is uh, I try to use same alphabet name whichever is available but not uh, not the company name so Panasonic and Philips I will not use it uh, just to avoid confusion because in future I might uh, purchase a Panasonic uh, speaker so it might uh, like uh, give me uh, confused uh, I, uh, confused devices so in order to avoid that I will I just use uh, different things so my remote uh, says Portronics so I try to see whether anything which have a similar name so Paul Cordio so I uh, add this one you can uh, choose anyone it doesn't matter so for now I will just you go with the Paul Cordio and now it will ask please point the remote control to the device within three seconds or three, three centimeter so let's just click OK and it is asking for click the button to confirm the home appliances under normal control so I will just click on the uh, button which I want to learn so this is the this one is the power button so let's just uh, click on this so it is showing some error so let's just try it again so now it is showing uh, it is showing option for adding so I will just click on the remote uh, power button so when I do that it will 
like learn it and now you can just test it and it is working so uh, let me try to show you and uh, let's just Okay, this uh, this particular device, uh, uh, this particular application is not able to uh, open in split screen. So what I try to show you is when I click on this, it actually um, it actually uh, broadcasts the signal from uh, from this one. So when I click on the screen, uh, it will broadcast the signal from this device. So that means it is working. So similarly, you can add more uh, buttons. So as you can see, uh, there are uh, volume controls here, minus and plus. So I will just try to add those. So in order to add, you need to click on this and hold it for like two seconds. And now it will show the option again. So I will just click on uh, from the remote and it will show learning succeed and you can just test it uh, by clicking it so when you are uh, done with all the remotes you can uh, click on the ok next button and also uh, there are sometimes uh, uh, the all remote functions are not available which is available in your physical remote so all you need to do is you need to go to the more and add according to your own need so like uh, we have a uh, bluetooth button separately so in order to add a BT button, what I need to do, I need to click on the plus button and it will again show a uh, wait to receive data, so plus 70 seconds. So I will just click on the BT button from my remote and I will just add BT uh, as a name for this particular remote. So now it is showing BT and when I click on it, it will also uh, broadcast by the our universal remote. So when you're done with it, all the remotes, when you add all the buttons and all, all you need to do is click on the OK Next. Maybe, uh, yeah. Now we need to click on the OK Next. And uh, it will uh, going to circle through all those buttons. So let's just uh, click on the end. So I don't want to uh, add more buttons to it. So when you're finished with all the buttons, you can just click on the Learn End option. And there you can actually uh, add the remote model and appliance model. So here I will uh, use uh, like soundbar remote. And in the appliance model, I will just use Portronics. Soundbar. And it will show you uh, total number of keys which is uh, added for this particular remote and you can just click on the save you can also use save and share it will going to like uh, it will going to save it as a public so that uh, others can also uh, search for this remote but i don't want to do that so i will just go and do save and as soon as you do it you can see uh, you will get a notification something like alex automatically connected to the smart skill app so let's just go to the uh, skill section and see. So it is saying uh, Alexa turn off audio. So this is the tricky part that how you can actually how you can actually uh, change the name of it. So in order to change the name, all you need to do is come to the smart IR and look for the device. So this is the newly created device and you all you need to do is you need to just hold uh, click on the uh, this uh, arrow button and hold it for one second there you will have an option to rename the device and we can now rename it and I will just add the name like 
Fortronix. What Fortronix test? Maybe because I have already uh, added it. So this is the name which will be available with the Alexa. So when you actually uh, add this, then and then uh, when you going to say command like uh, echo, turn on. Sorry, I'm not sure. Turn on Protonix test, so it will actually uh, turn on uh, like broadcast the signal for the power, or maybe volume uh, increase and increase is also going to get supported. So that is the name uh, which you need to carefully assign. And the good thing about this is that whenever you rename here, it will also get renamed in the Alexa app as well. So that is a good thing. So you can just save it here, and you can just uh, like go back and start using it. So when you go back, it will going to list as a old device. And now uh, what you need to do is you can just add this. So you can just start using it from here. Okay, so one thing uh, you need to notice that uh, when it is available here, we are not able to add anything to it. Like we can't edit it. In order to add edit anything, uh, which is connect, which is uh, added by the smart IR, you need to go inside it. So, for example, if you need to rename it again, I got uh, always confused that how you can rename it. So the uh, the right way to do it is go to the smart IR again, and then look for this and you can just click on the button uh, I mean and the arrow and you can just go to the rename or delete and also if you wants to add a location to it oh, it is not available here so I think I need to uh, need to add some from where I think uh, we can't uh, change their rooms location which is added by the smart IR because uh, the rooms I have doesn't have any IR attached to it so I think that's the limitation of the smart life app so these are all the physical buttons not the virtual ones so I think uh, it is not available you can't do it so this will going to be remain here and in order to use it you can just click on it and start using it or if you want to edit it you need to go to the smart IR section or whatever the universal remote name you have and you can just click on it and then edit it from there. So that is how you can add a custom IR remote to your smart life app. I hope uh, you get some idea about this and let's meet in the next video. Bye, take care.